What up my dudes, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you all how to make my wife's favorite sauce, sriracha. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start with a pound of red jalapeno peppers or red fresno chili peppers. Or really any type of red pepper will work for this. And we're going to go ahead and chop them all in half. And then we're going to go ahead and de-seed these guys using a spoon. And we're just going to go ahead and scrape them out. Now if you want yours to be a lot spicier, leave those seeds in there. This is where all the heat comes from. Once we got them all de-seeded, we're going to go ahead and chop them up with a rough chop. By the way, if you want a full bottle of this sauce, you're probably going to need three pounds. I used one pound because it's my first time making it. Next, we're going to go ahead and weigh out our peppers and write that number down. Then we're going to take a whole head of garlic and we're just going to give them a nice little crush and then peel them. Go ahead and weigh them out. It's 33 grams. And now we're going to figure out our salt content. We're going to take our garlic, we're going to add it to our chili peppers. It's going to give us 299 grams, plus the one sub you just made, and that's going to give us 300 grams. Then we're going to multiply that by 3% to give us 9 grams of salt that we need to add to this mix. Okay? This is what we need to be able to start this fermentation and get the lacto-fermentation started. So go ahead and measure out yourself 9 grams of salt. And then put everything into a vacuum seal bag. I went ahead and grind them down my salt a little bit more fine, but you don't have to. I'm just using kind of bigger salt. Go ahead and vacuum seal this. What this is going to do is produce an anaerobic environment, which is going to cause these peppers and garlic to ferment. Then go ahead and give it a nice little pat. Give it some affirmations. Turn it over and admire. And then we're just going to write our start and end date on here. And we're going to find a nice dark slash dimly lit area in our apartment or house to store these in and we're going to come back in seven days when these are finished fermenting. Now probably nine days later because you forgot that you were fermenting these. These should be all nice and puffy. Go ahead and open this up. It's going to smell absolutely delicious inside of this thing. Woo. And then move on to our next step of actually blending and making our sauce. We're going to throw these in the blender. I'm going to grab some xanthan gum and put a teaspoon here. It's just going to help with the texture. This is not a required ingredient, and you can actually skip this. Next, we're going to grab some white distilled and I'm going to half this. And then we're just going to go ahead and blend it to it's a fine puree. Then I'm going to go ahead and pour it over a mesh strainer, and we're just going to go ahead and push this through the mesh strainer. This is just going to help with our texture and get rid of any skin or seeds that are left over inside of here. You should be left with a nice glossy paste below. Go ahead and heat this up, add some salt and sugar, and season this bad boy. And then we're just going to simmer it very lightly for about 15 minutes. And then we're going to grab one of these little squeeze bottles. You can get these at Walmart for about 99 cents. And I'm just going to grab a funnel and stick it in the top. Go ahead, scoop that delicious sriracha sauce in there. And then we're just going to use the good old fashioned tap, 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 tap method until all of it's through. And there you go, you got a third of a bottle of uh, sriracha sauce. Again, triple the recipe if you want more. Now let's go ahead and get ourselves a comparison with the real stuff versus mine. Mine is a little bit more red. There's a little bit darker red. But that consistency is perfect. All right, y'all, it's time for taste test. Here's your smear. That's sriracha on the right, ours on the left. Ours is a little bit redder, it's not that dark red. But uh, let's go ahead and taste test. Start with original sriracha. Tastes like sriracha, kind of tangy, spicy. If you have sriracha, you know what sriracha tastes like. Now ours, mm. immediately a lot of flavor. Ours is immediately has a lot more garlic than sriracha. Just tasting them side by side. I maybe use a quarter of the amount of garlic I used or half the amount if you're not a garlic fan like I am. Personally, I'm a garlic girl, so you know. That's how I do. Ooh, this one might be a little bit spicier than the sriracha one. But it is good. It's going to make a good sandwich bread. Anyway, cut the future Marshall. All right, y'all, and there you have it. My take on sriracha sauce. Obviously, mine's way more garlic heavy than theirs is. Uh, if I'm being honest, I'm not sure they put garlic in the original sriracha sauce. But I like it, so it's in there. Uh, if you leave me a comment, like, and subscribe, it really helps out the channel. And as always, doodles.